Are you doing ESD immunity testing? Really? <laughs> well, ditto. Turn the unit on with the trigger key, which is used for powering the unit on and off as well as confirming parameter changes. In the main menu, we press F1 to enter easy zap mode. Inside easy zap mode, F2 allows us to toggle between air and contact mode. F3 allows us to set trigger mode continuous discharge while the trigger is pressed. Single mode for a single discharge per trigger press. And auto mode to activate continuous discharges with the press of a trigger. And then terminating the discharge sequence with another squeeze. F4 allows us to set discharge intervals. Half a second is our fastest in easy zap mode. Faster speeds are available in evaluation mode. A preset counter is available by pressing F5. Holding the plus button will increase by 10 after 10 increments. Pressing the trigger will save our counter to 20 pulses. Now that all our settings are configured, select F1 to start, which puts the gun into discharge ready mode. A trigger pull now will initiate discharges. As you see, easy zap mode allows you to select pre-programmed voltage levels. We'll run this sequence by pressing the trigger. Notice the actual voltage output at the test tip is displayed. Once the test sequence is complete, press F1 again to deactivate the trigger from discharging. The trigger can now be utilized to back out back to the main menu. Returning to the main menu, F2 takes us into quick zap mode. We'll deactivate the preset counter by pressing F5 and scrolling down until the counter displays zero. This will allow us to discharge as many times required while tracking successful arc. Changing trigger mode to continuous will allow us to hold the trigger down and keep the unit firing. Releasing the trigger when complete, F1 to engage discharging and you'll notice a different menu allowing manual voltage adjustment. Holding the trigger down, the counter increments with each successful arc and releasing the trigger stops the firing. F1 again to deactivate the high voltage, allowing us to use the trigger to back out the main menu and move into evaluation mode. Evaluation mode can be used to check the DUT for sensitive test points. The preferred method to find these points are in air discharge mode. In this section, we can speed up the discharge frequency to 20 hertz. We'll go ahead and swap the contact tip with the air discharge tip. In continuous mode, I pulled the trigger and discharge along the surface of my EUT. We're now two minutes deep, and if you're barely hanging on, just imagine ESD testing is like... And we're back. Test routines mode will run test sequences on a predefined number of test points while automatically alternating polarity at each voltage level. F4 takes us into test routines mode with several pre-programmed routines. These routines can be changed to meet your needs. Additionally, using the ESD.control software, you can create and upload new test routines to the generator. For demonstration purposes and to make life easier on your operator, we'll set the trigger mode to automatic and speed up the discharges. To keep it short, we'll lower the pulse count down to two per level. And returning to the test routines submenu, we press F3, which displays TP, allowing us to set the number of test points. Two test points to keep it quick will allow you to see the operational sequence while conducting a multiple point test. Test point one will generate two pulses at 2000 volts, both positive and negative polarities. The gun pauses, allowing for replacement of the simulator to the next test point. After all test points are complete, the gun steps up to the next level allowing you to replace to the original test point and continue testing. Once the test routine is completed, you can save the events to be recalled or downloaded at a later time. F5 will enter the setup menu. Followed by F1, we can manipulate the pre-programmed IEC test levels. In contact, discharge mode will change level 1 to 2.5 kV, pressing the trigger to initiate the change and backing out to the main menu. We revisit easy zap mode and recall level 1, which now arms itself at 2.5 kV. Returning to the setup menu, F2 now takes us into the hardware setting, allowing us to set audio trigger screen brightness and the baud rate, the technical term for download speed to PC. Back to the setup submenu, several software settings can be adjusted. You may have noticed earlier voltage adjustments in 1000 volt steps. Here we can adjust the voltage step level down to 100 volt steps. Check out the new video datasheet series for features and specifications on the latest and greatest ESD generators.